Hey, it's your boy, it's your bruh, and the bruh's mini me. Bam, there he goes. Hey, Noah. Noah, say hi. No. <laughs> anyway, so I was on home time, right? So I was supposed to be home Friday and be off Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, go back to work Monday. Um, because of the amount of hours that I had on my 70, um, I didn't get back home until Saturday. So I was off Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. Supposed to, supposed to go back out to uh, Tuesday morning, right? So um, meanwhile, while while I'm at home, I put my truck in the shop uh, because the bunk heater has been going out. So I was all up north, Ohio, Indiana, Illinois, in the snow and the ice, that and the other, and my bunk heater stopped working, right? So it actually stopped working while I was in Ohio. It was eight degrees. The snow and the ice, that's, that's overrated. I drove in all of that mess. Um, there was accidents left and right. I saw, I was in Indiana. I was going south. I can't remember, what, 57, I think that, I can't remember what that was. I was going south, and there was a trucker. He had an accident. His his driver's side door was actually scraping up against the the driver's side of the trailer. He was over in the median, and there was like ten other cars that was around him. You know, on both sides of the road, just 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 everywhere. You know, everybody slipped around. It was it was crazy. You know, it was crucial. So um, so anyway, so it stopped working, but I knew that I was on my way home. Um. So I bundled up as as much as I could, and and I, I I wasn't even thinking I could get a hotel room that Schneider might might pay for, you know, wasn't thinking about that at all. And I was I, I was more so thinking that last time that it happened, which I think was earlier this year or late last year during that blizzard when I was stuck in in Virginia, um, the guy said that it, it'll take a few days for them to actually fix it. So I'm thinking I'm supposed to be home soon, you know, I'm I'm I'm, I'm not trying to stay up here still like this at all. So I figured, hey, I'll wait. And I knew that my next load was actually going south. So I figured, hey, you know, I'll, I'll deal with it, you know. So that was the plan. So um, I took a load and went down to South Carolina, Columbia, South Carolina, right around there, I think it is. And then I took another load that was from there to, um, uh, it's supposed to go to Mississippi, but I dropped it off in Atlanta. So I figured, hey, while I'm on home time, which is what I've been doing lately, my, my truck's getting older. I've got over 500 some thousand miles on it. Um, I figured, hey, I'll, I'll drop it in the, the, the shop, let them fix it. Oh, while I'm on home time, I come back, it's fresh, I'm good to go. So, um, I get up, got my car stocked with all kinds of food, you know, canned food, stuff like that, that my wife got, you know, um, and thank you, baby. <laughs> and, um, uh, I get to work. And I got this load I'm supposed to pick up at like 8.30. I get to work and I'm trying to find my truck so I can stock it up. It's like, you know, to do a pre-trip. I'm walking around the parking lot. I cannot find it at all. So I go to the shop and I say, hey, I'm, I'm, looking, I'm looking for my truck. I can't find it, you know. So, so I look it up and says, well, that's because it's not finished, you know. And he said, um, they, um, they they did a PM too, but um, um, they, they finished that. But uh, the... The engine compartment for the bunk heater is, is, is what is needs to be fixed. And they're waiting on a part. So called last night and it's still waiting on a part. Um called this morning, which is Wednesday now. It's still waiting on a part. So I may be down today. So the kids have been loving it. Noah, do you like the fact that I've been at home? Noah, you not gonna say anything? You gonna be quiet? <laughs> He's been loving it. All the kids have been loving it, right? Uh-uh. No, I can leave. Uh-uh. I I can leave. Uh-uh. All right, <laughs> they've been loving it. So my check next week is gonna be short, man. But you know what? It's cool. I mean, this happens what like maybe once a year, I guess. You know, it's all right. So anyway, so that's what's going on with me. So, uh, the original video was supposed to be about, about cat scales, so. Um, in a nutshell, get the cat scale app. All right, so if you don't have the app, you know how it is. You 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 find a, a, a cat scale. You have to 
jump on a scale, hit the button, first way, reway. They ask you certain questions. You, you tell them truck number, first way, and then they have to go find some place to park. Walk across the park a lot, you know, avoiding getting hit by other truckers, you know. And um, go inside. You have to wait inside, wait in the line. Sometimes one person, sometimes three or four, sometimes five or six. If they're having issues, you know, may have to wait, wait a little longer. You know, it just just it, it just takes a while. And then once you get up there, they they ask you several questions. Sometimes you have to repeat yourself because they have to type in those those answers for the cashier um, register, and, and then they have to retype in some of those answers for the cat scale um, terminal. Um, and then you finally get your um, scale ticket, and then you can leave. And depending on where you parked at, you may have parked in the uh, fuel island because you're about to get some fuel, or or you you pulled up to your line because because you know that um, really all that that you are getting is the cat scale ticket. What if you had to park in the parking lot? You get to walk across the parking lot, you know. And sometimes you might go at a time where it's just like super packed. It seems like everybody's getting fuel at this spot. I remember I was at a Love's. In um, uh, it was Alabama. Was that Alabama? Like headed towards Georgia. It was, it was like the last loves. I think it was off of eighty five. Anyway, so I went in there to you know get the um, uh, uh cat scale uh thing and and it was just super packed, man. It was like nine o'clock, maybe ten. It's just super packed. Trucks everywhere. I mean, I could barely get on to the scale and then you can barely find a spot to park because it's just so packed people keep coming in i mean just it, it can be horrendous sometimes so if, if you've never used the app before i would highly highly suggest that you get the app because what happens is that you get on to the scale all right you don't hit that button at all you're doing everything through the app you drive on to the scale activate the app the app knows where you're at so it knows which cat scale location that 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 you're sitting on and it asks you basically the you know, same questions that um, you would have to answer inside with, with the addition of a load number um so it still asks you for your, your um, truck number your um, trailer number it asks you for your load number uh, and basically says okay th this will cost eleven dollars do you, do you accept you know and you say yes whatever and you get your numbers right then and there and within 10 seconds you're emailed a copy of your actual scale ticket it looks exactly like the the cat scale ticket you know the um, yellow squarish looking thing whatever you get that you know so literally within two minutes you are you, you have your cat scale ticket within five minutes you're literally back on the road you know that and it, did you you fart it man <laughs> dude <laughs> Dude, <laughs> man. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> within five minutes, you're back on the road. <laughs> I'm not deleting this video, man. <laughs> Work too hard on this thing. I'm not even stuttering, dude. Anyway, so okay, you said excuse. You could have let out a silent one. That would have been better. <laughs> And then anyway, within five minutes, you're back on the road. And that saves you money. So I actually took the time to calculate how much that might be. So um, say if on average you get scaled about five times a week, right? And say if on average, it, it, on average it takes you between 15 and 30 minutes to actually get scaled. And, and, and that's if you just go in, get your scale, the second other, and leave, you know? Um, but if, if you have any issues, you know, it can take upwards to about 30 minutes, you know? So we'll just say 30 minutes, right? So... 30 minutes times five days, 150 miles, roughly, right? So 150 miles um, times how much I get paid. And it's going to save me roughly $54 a week that I'm saving. That's 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 not being taken away from my check because those are miles, 150 miles that I'm on the road, you know? Um, I'm not sitting somewhere waiting on the Catskill ticket, waiting on the guy in front of me to finish what he's doing, you know? I'm actually driving. Literally, I promise you, literally, because I've, I've I've timed it several times now. Literally, two minutes on the scale, got my scale ticket, off the scale, five minutes, I'm back on the road driving. That's awesome, you know. So if you get paid by the mile, I would highly, highly suggest that you use that. 
even if you don't get paid by the mile and you get paid percentage, I would highly suggest that you do that because you're you're not. I mean, you can get closer t- to your location, you know, especially if you're running into a situation where we run in tight on your time and you got to be someplace at a certain time or there's a, a certain place that you want to be by a certain time, you know, you. You can do that because that's 28 more minutes that 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 you have in, in 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 driving. Sometimes that can make a difference. You know, there's been plenty of times where where I plan my day just right and something happens and I'm I'm getting down to the nitty gritty. I'm I'm down to 30 minutes. There's been time. There's been times, and it wasn't even my fault. But there's been times where I had two minutes left on my 14 and to find some place to park. Two minutes. <sighs> I don't like those times at all. I mean, I planned my day, planned my day perfectly, and then a customer screws me over. Anyway, so anyway, Catscale, get the app. I promise you, you will not, you will not be discouraged. You, yeah, or that's not the word I want to use. You will love it. All right, it, it's, it's awesome. So, anyway, so I don't know if I'm down for the whole day or what, but we'll see. But anyway, until next time. You guys have a great one. Bye.